A six-year-old boy and his mother were visiting the Horseshoe Valley Resort in Barrie on Friday. The little boy, Ben McDermott, was rock climbing at a supervised outdoor wall. He had gotten to the top of the 40-foot wall. Now, to give you a sense of how tall that is, or how high, the top, almost to the top of that walkway there, we estimate to be about 40 feet. Now, Ben was starting to belay back down. He should have been safely harnessed in and attached to a carabiner and rope, but he fell, free fell. 40 feet to land unconscious on the gravel ground below with his mother screaming for help. Now, Ben is lucky to be alive, but he does remain here at Sick Kids Hospital with some serious injuries. The terrible accident has raised some serious concerns about the safety measures in place at the time. Ben was airlifted to sick kids and he is in a full body cast with his parents at his side. He suffered a broken femur, fractures in his neck and spine, broken ribs and pelvis, as well as small tears in his lungs. I spoke to another mother who was there with her kids when it happened. She is herself an experienced climber and her kids love to climb. She says the resort uses an auto belay system so that a spotter is not needed at the bottom. She's concerned about whether or not the carabiner at the top was properly attached. And, you know, and what I saw was fall was Ben fall, obviously, and then um, when I looked up, the carabiner was still attached to the um, auto belaying device, and it was open. So that's so and your feeling is that carabiner should have been coming with him. Oh yes, well he should have been attached to the auto belaying device right. to get down safely. Right. Yeah, because that's just, that's that's the backup. Like that's a safety to get down the wall. Something went horribly wrong. S something did. It was horrific. Yeah, it was absolutely horrific. I also spoke to the boy's father on the phone who tells me both he and his wife are absolutely devastated by this and also angry that it could ever have happened. But they're both grateful that their son is alive. He tells me Ben is recovering slowly day by day and will be able to come home in a few days. But the body cast will have to stay on for four weeks. He says Ben is also traumatized and relives his fall every time he closes his eyes. Neil McDermott says he has heard nothing from the resort since this happened on Friday morning, although the marketing manager manager did send me a short statement today, which reads, this past Friday, there was an unfortunate incident on our rock climbing wall. The attraction will remain closed for ongoing investigations. Our thoughts are with the boy and his family. I just keep thinking that it could have been my child. Yeah. Um, if we had gotten there five minutes earlier, he would have been on that device or on that wall or I, I don't know. I don't know. It just, I just keep thinking that. Uh, it should have never happened. It's, it's just really scary because we, you know, as parents, have, just have to be so diligent mm -hmm. and um, and really assess the risks that we're, you know, that if we're, our kids are going to go on certain, do certain activities or go on certain rides, we just need to make sure that they're the safest that they can be. Mm -hmm. Now, the OPP did attend at the time of the incident, and Neil McDermott said that he was told that police were investigating this as a case of criminal negligence. But when I talked to the OPP, they had no knowledge of that. They said that they had referred the case to the Ministry of Labor, and a spokesperson there did confirm for me today that they had attended at the site twice, and their investigation is ongoing. This story came to us from a viewer tip. If you have a story or idea you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways to contact us.